Yo guys, welcome to my channel. It's Room Xblade, and in today's video, I'll show you some tips and tricks about topology in Prisma 3D. So, what is topology? It's basically all the faces that you have in your object, like this here. And what is faces? Here, what I have selected and deleted. This was a face. Like here is now now no face. So this is a face. Like this have six faces, and here if I if i add a sphere the sphere have so many faces so let's start with the trick number one that you can flat your specific objects apart by using the points and selecting it i i already showed in in my previous video so let's see it again here as you can see this side is fully flatted although I so you can use this trick to like if you are trying to flat a surface of your high poly object you can use this trick so let's go go to next trick which is like how to merge points like I want to merge this point and this point if you are used 3d modeling app then you know that you can do it by just clicking this two and you will you have a option called merging to point like merge and then they, they both will be merge like this so how to merge them like as the two points are here so you have to delete one of the point so let's click one in one point and delete it now we have some lines so go to edges which is line this point and select both part that you want to make a bridge inside in prisma 3d you can see here i am selecting this line but it shows this line but also working this line will be worked so let's select this two and then you will have a option here which is glowing i call it normally bridge so because it makes a bridge between two lines like this you can see here and also do this you have to long press on them then click on bridge here and click here and you will see a fill option click on that then it will be filled automatically so this is the thing now the line is merged you can see that and you can use it in different different place also let me show you like i have a cube i will extrude this face it down and here also one thing like by mistake if you if you are not able to like align them in a like flat so you can just go to line points and select click on them and then shrink them like this now then this will be a fully flattened size like this and now let's extrude it and here if I try to make it a pyramid then you just simply do that but then we can't like it's not merged so what to do like you don't have to uh, get any point out of them just delete three faces from them like this and delete other faces select them like this and click on undo then delete them. it's not working wait a minute but first make a bridge like this select two lines like this okay and now delete this face also let's see if the point is working or not okay now the point is working so delete the other points okay now you have to do the same thing like select two lines and mark, make a bridge between them like this like this now you can see the points are merged like not merged but basically you can tell it like merge call it merging points so this is the trick and so now let's go to next trick So basically it is not a trick it's a 
like tip you can say like when you select faces like which is uneven object like this is a spare so when you select some faces like this and then you try to move them so you can see here you can't move them in a single axis you have to move it like this using two arrows and you have to predict the direction so what to do at this moment just undo and go to point then select the points all your like select the points of your faces like this and now you can see you can move it in a single axis so this is the trick and let's let me show you next trick so the next trick will be everyone must be related relate with this problem like as you can see here i have a object here and for this face you can see here like it's normal like this is a line normally but in this side you can see the line is between this portion so here it's a little weird like this bending here between this point it's bending but it is bending this line from this point so it's normal but here it's weird you will face this problem while making faces or cars so how to solve it solve it you have to this face is normal so we don't have to solve it so we have to make a line in this point like it's default here but we have to make it here so delete the face and then select two lines like this and do this and then also here fill it so you can see which is here by default it's now also here so this is how you can fix this problem and for this face you can also make the lines like this and fill it okay so it's done so this is the trick and let's head to next trick so the next trick is specially for car models like who made cars so here if you are making car and then you are making here a, like a cut for wheels so what will you do you just add some cuts like this and do something like this and then add more cuts but then after the work is done you will see many cuts here which will cause you some problems in future while editing this part so in that case you can do this just first two cut is necessary so you have to add two cuts you don't have to add many cuts then add cut somewhere like here you can add two cuts also and then you have to select uh, delete these two faces and then add as many cuts you want like not here in this face like this not at this side not here you have to add cut like only on this face and after your work is done now you can use the same line trick to merge the lines start with start from a edge like this start from one side okay so now you're done now you can see you have your face here as it is and you can also make the curve for your wheel so this is the trick and let's 
go to next trick and now like here I have a model object and I want to add some cuts only for this face like this and this but these cuts are going through full my object so I don't want cuts here so what to do in that case you have to add here a cut like this and you can add two cuts for safety like this and then you have to delete the this portion and this portion you can delete them too you can just merge them later and here now you can add as much cut you want so i'll add some cuts like this and let's add some cuts here too like this okay never mind let's join them both it's temporary for temporary we have to delete it later now i have joined it i have a joint here so select this line and this line and merge it and delete this face and also do the same with this part okay so one side is done and then do the same with this it is temporary only for this portion then you have to delete the previous face like this and here now you have to delete this and join it also like with this do the same this part also like this and then join them both and delete the face joint this part then join them for temporary and then join these two and delete this face then join them now you can you know what to do like select the sides like this this and then fill the middle part you can do this like this So this is the trick. Oh, here I have a. I have to fill this. Okay, done. So this is the trick. Now let's head to next trick. Oh, I showed you the tricks, but there are some problems while using this trick. Let me show you. So here I have a plan, and if I add some loop cuts here. You can see I can add loop cuts and it will work to full the object like the loop cuts loop cut is working properly but if I delete this face and but in plane it's a little bit complicated to show in a plane so if I join them by like this and join it like this so now they are triangle like they have three faces and they have four faces so if I add a loop cut here you can see the loop cut it's ending here like not going in through it so loop cut always works on quads quads mean which have four faces like this you can see it's not going through the triangle 
but if I add loop cut here it's, it's fully working through the like quads so and if I now change it a bit like add a cut here and then delete this face and join it from here now you can see that this is also triangle this is a triangle this is a triangle but this is a quartz which means which means this is, this has four face sides so if i add a loop cut at it here let me add a loop cut but it's not going through it oh i forgot we have to join it like delete this face also and joined it the face with it so now you can see we have triangles here and this is a quad this is a, also a quad so now if i add a loop cut here you can see the line is going through it because they are they all have four si sides which means they are quads but the loop cut is ended here it's not going through it because it's a triangle so loop cut is normally works on quads which means which faces have four sides but it will not work in triangle so always try to use quads in your mesh and when you use a triangle you can after that you can also like delete your triangle and uh, do something like join them like this and I joined them like this and if now I add a loop cut here you can see the loop cut is going through full the like throw full it because all are quads so i hope you understand what i am trying to show you and so this is the video about the topology and tips and tricks so, so if you think i missed any topic so you can comment and if we have any problem you can also comment that i will try to solve it in any future video and if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video i hope this video helps you so we will meet again in next video bye